Bedford High School is adding more security after an outbreak of violence inside the school. Well, the district moved to virtual learning just days after fights broke out at a football game last week. And now, as News 5's Tracy Carlos reports, online learning will last longer than expected. Bedford High School classrooms are empty after the district says fights and threats of violence forced the move to virtual learning. And now that online learning will stretch into next week. It is very concerning. Candace Williams is a Bedford High graduate and the mother of two children in the district. One is a sophomore at the high school. I think all children are concerned about violence. It doesn't make them feel safe. They need safe and supportive environments to learn. That's not an environment where you can go to learn. So I think it's uh, concerning for everyone. Since the beginning of the year, Bedford police have been called for violence at the school four times, most recently at a football game where police say they confiscated this gun and arrested a man. We had two fights break out and there was rumors of a gun. They ended up ejecting a few people and one of the people refused to leave. They stood across the street and watched. So officers went to go talk to him and when they approached him, he bent over and put something on the ground and they found out it was a gun. In a statement, the district spokeswoman said in part, some of the security enhancements require additional equipment and personnel, and that will take more time to complete. They're doing everything they can to make sure that this doesn't continue at all. It's not going to get worse. Including Bedford Deputy Chief Rick Sutz told me, meeting with the school resource officer and police and city administration. The school is being very proactive. They see that there's a pattern starting to develop of kids fighting and they don't want it to continue. So they're coming up with a plan now. But Candace Williams says more than security needs to be part of that plan. I think we need wraparound supports for our students with those restorative justice practices and also trauma recovery centers so that we can address their unaddressed trauma. The violence and what's being done about it is expected to be talked about at next week's school board meeting. That meeting is set for November 4th. Tracy Carlos, News 5.